Hi friends, good evening and welcome back to my channel Mokambika Nursing. Friends, here in this video we can see questions, previous year questions, also important questions for exam preparation. Here we are preparing questions for RRB staff nurse exam, also ESIC, DSSB, AIMS NOSET, Insurance Medical Service, Kerala PSC exam, also DME exam. Let's start the question. You can see first question, which of the following is considered as an indicator for administering serum albumin? Options, option A, formation of WBCs, option B, formation of RBCs, option C, maintenance of oncotic pressure, option D, all of this. Here the question is, which is the indication for administering serum Albumin. Albumin is a plasma protein. Albumin, globulin, fibrinogen and prothrombin are plasma proteins. So, plasma protein maintains oncotic pressure of the body. So, the serum albumin is administered to maintain the oncotic pressure option. C is the correct answer. The next question. Which cranial nerve is responsible for gag reflex? Options. Option A. Cranial nerve 5. Option B. Cranial nerve 6. Option C. Cranial nerve 9. Option D. Cranial nerve 10. The function of gag reflex is by cranial nerve 9. Cranial nerve 9 is glossopharyngeal nerve. At the test question, positive chaustic sign and trousers sign are early indications of Options. Option A. Rickets. Option B. Addison's disease. Option C. Tetany. Option D. Cushing syndrome. Positive chaustic sign means just we are tapping in front of the ear. In front of the ear there is facial nerve. So just we are tapping in front of the ear there is contraction of facial muscles will occur. That is chaustic sign. Trousier sign means just we are inflating the blood pressure cuff at antecubital fossa. There may be spasm occurs in the fingers that is carpal spasm that is known as trousier sign. Both are the signs of tetany. Option C is the correct answer. Tetany is occurs due to the imbalance or decrease serum calcium level. Normal serum calcium level is 8.6 to 10 milligram per deciliter. So hypocalcemia may cause tetany okay so both trousier sign and chaustic sign are the positive sign of tetany and the next question a client with a history of cardiac disease is due for a morning dose of rosamide which serum potassium level if noted in client's lab report should report it before administering the dose of rosamide here in this question a cardiac history Patient is getting morning dose of frosamide. Frosamide is an example of loop diuretics. Frosamide or laxis. Which serum potassium value should be noted and report to the physician before administering the frosamide? That is the question. Normal serum potassium level in an adult is 3.5 to 5.1 milli equivalent per liter. Administering frosamide with low potassium level and a history of cardiac problem could cause ventricular dysarrhythmia. Okay, so we should not administer serum, sorry, frusamide to a patient when serum potassium level is below normal. We can see the next question. Regulation of pH within the body is maintained by option. Option is spleen, option B heart, option C liver, option D kidney. pH is maintained by option D, it is kidney. We can see the next question. The wandering phagocytes found in the alveoli are called options. Option A, alveolar macrophages. Option B, pulmonary cells. Option C, goblet cells. Option D, none of this. And the correct answer is option A, alveolar macrophages. Alveolar macrophages or dust cells are Type of phagocytic cells found in the pulmonary alveoli. So here option A is the correct answer. And the next question. In acetaminophen toxicity, the nurse should observe. 
ஆப்ஷன் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ கம்ப்ளீட் பிளட் கவுண்ட் ஆப்ஷன் பி டிரான்ஸ் லெவல் ஆப்ஷன் சி ட்ரோபோனின் லெவல் ஆப்ஷன் டி இசிஜி சேஞ்சஸ் அசட்டமினோஃபின் இஸ் ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக் அண்ட் அனாலஜிக் இன் ஆக்ஷன் in acetaminophen toxicity or acetaminophen poisoning we can see increased or extreme elevation of ast ast means aspartate amino transferase is a liver enzyme and also alt alt means alanine transferase this two are liver enzyme this level will be increased during the time of acetaminophen toxicity so the nurse should check transaminase level option b is the correct answer in acetaminophen toxicity the nurse should observe transaminase level and the next question a client arrives in the emergency room complaining of chest pain that begins 4 hours ago a troponin t blood specimen is obtained and the result indicate a level of 0.6 nanogram per ml the nurse determined that this result is options option a, a normal level option b a low value possibly gastritis option c indicate myocardial infraction option d presence of possible angina so here the question is a client came in emergency room with the complaints of chest pain and troponin t blood specimen is obtained and result came the value is 0.6 nanogram per ml so according to the result what the nurse will determine or nurse will understand that the patient is having what troponin is a regulatory protein found in the muscles especially in skeletal and cardiac muscle and increased amount of this troponin are released when there is a damage to the myocardium normal value of this troponin is 0.1 to 0.2 nanogram per ml if above this value that is above 0.2 normally is 0.1 to 0.2 above it indicate there is myocardial infraction okay so here value is 0.6 nanogram per ml that indicate the patient is having mi and the next question fungi are options option a eukaryotes option b prokaryotes option c plants option d all of this fungi are example of you carry out option a is the correct answer fungi are example of eukaryotic organism they have rigid cell wall and nucleus nuclear membrane and they are divided by asexually or sexual methods and the next question antibodies are produced by options option a plasma cells option b lymphocytes option c erythrocytes option d basophils antibodies are produced by lymphocytes option b is the correct answer and the next question secondary immune response is mediated by options option a iga option b igd option c igm and option d igg secondary immune response are mediated by igg is the correct answer igg is the most common immunoglobulin it can cross the placenta the igg antibodies are related to secondary immune response so here option d is the correct answer and the next question elderly women are more prone to develop hip fracture because options option a decrease estrogen secretion option b increase bone density option c increase calcium absorption option d sedentary lifestyle elderly women are more prone to develop hip fracture because decrease estrogen production in old age there will be estrogen production will be decreased so they are prone to more prone to hip fracture so here we discuss previous year question and important questions so surely this question will helpful for your studies if it is useful for your studies please subscribe my channel and share my videos to your friend circle